Good afternoon and welcome back to the Caps Gaming Showcase. Yes, that's right. We are back for another season. This season, a little bit different. $20,000 on the line, but across two different divisions. One, of course, in North America. And now for the first time ever, Caps Gaming ventures across the pond and delivers high octane action over in the EU. And that is the first that we'll bring you here today. For this coverage is some EU action with Herlev Eagles and Hreds feeling some things out. We'll have King of Apes taking it down the line, beating his man up the right side, passed in front, wrist shot, score! And starting it off all early, the left D Domi there bringing it home with a goal, the opening goal of the Caps Gaming Showcase. No, and it's only going to be January next month, so we'll see what we get in the <laughs> offensive draw. Face off draw one back again. Wrist shot trying to come across the body there by Benito. He's getting active here on this power play. One minute left. Slap shot scores. Make no mistake about it. That's his second goal of the game on a huge power play opportunity for Hreds. And you see Nikki Dangles throwing the pass in and get it over. What a great goal there by Domi. And that's what we talked about here, Nick. It's the activation of the defense. It's massive for H-Reds. Their forwards drag the defenders down. I know it's a five on three, but they still bring them down below the hash marks. Once they suck them down below the hash marks, they move the puck back to the point and they activate their defense for a great slap shot goal. I almost want to say we we haven't seen uh, Herlev's offense yet because they just haven't had, like you said, the five on five play. As I say that, a beautiful pass from Benito to Nikki Dangles, and that is the third goal of the first period. It is three nothing Hreds cohorts. So kudos to you, good sir. And uh, this is going to be an exciting time working with you as the season progresses. I can just taste it. As we continue on, 13 minutes to go here in the third period. Wraparound chance and scores! A great goal from a couple of quick passes. And Villapoinka gets his marker on the board there. The left winger said, I want some action too. And he definitely made that happen. A great wraparound stretch pass there from behind the net. It's a definite EU style. You know, if you take a page out of John Tortorella's book, he'll tell you safe is death. EU definitely doesn't play that way. They will play the same way throughout the entire game as an amazing counterattack on the rush. Uh, that is a beautiful goal there by the wing pair. Nick Eight Angles to Villa Poika and add one more to his goal tally here in the third. Keeping Herlev having to keep chasing as time winds down slowly. Some may say not slowly enough for Herlev. Shot in front, wide open chance, and oh my goodness. Nikki Dangles, waiting, wishing, wanting, and then doing. He was wide open in the middle of that slot area for another goal here in the third. Yeah, I think we got to appreciate that pass uh, more than anything. That was filthy. Uh, just the patience like you spoke about before the hockey game down in that left-hand corner, corner and Benito just waits and waits and waits for the lane to open up, catches the defense sleeping, and they're just so dangerous, hey, Treads. It's so exciting to watch. Backwards pass through and a couple of weird bounces, but hey, Treads able to get a shot on. That one saved by Teak. As Benito backskates through the slot area, out to Nikki Dangles, back into Benito, shot, score! Benito, with the patience, the timing, and the determination, got the goalie sliding over, and he puts it back across the way he came. It's 1-0 Hreds. Yeah, and just like that, a one nothing hockey game. And Atreds picks off exactly where they left off, didn't they, Nick? As they come out with a great pass out front. Similar goals to game one, and here we go, one nothing. Yeah, it's definitely not. But how do you get opportunities against a team that plays like Atreds? They're just as offensive out there as defenses as Nicky almost. <laughs> wow. He puts one in off the flying poke check. And an amazing goal there. And I liked what I saw there from Tiki. He dove out to try to stop that one. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Uh, nevertheless, here, Nikki Dangles gets another one. And that one kind of trickled in over the top of the goalie. Off the draw. Duomi. That's it right there. Villapoika. Set play. Set goal. 3 nothing. 
It's like we it's like we've done this before or something is what a goal. Great face off play. Villapoika gets the one timer. And just like I said, there's so many of these plays H Reds have. They play together all the time and it's just a joy to get to watch them. As he's been all over the ice trying to get his team agitated, motivated, and highly dedicated to put one behind face. As only one went in in game one, and that was from an errant pass out. Maybe a broadcaster's curse. Jubens there with a wrist shot, though. And oh my goodness, there's life in her lev. Jubens with a laser top cheese. And that's a one goal marker cutting into the lead here in the second period. Great individual effort there for Jubens to get himself into the zone and rip that puck home in the high slot, Nick. And that's what you need when you're down. You need those shots on net. And he comes over the line. He lets one rip. And in 22, you see those shots from just outside the high circles go in a lot of the time. He ended up getting in the slot there. Perfect spot to shoot. And what a snipe. As Lil John may say, two-time Emmy and Grammy nominated Lil John. Shots, 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 everybody. And Jubin did it there, and it capitalized. 3-1 your scoreline now as Herlev ties into things. And trying to bring it back level. Shot in front there, Benito looking for a chance. That one's deflected off of a couple of bodies. Still in the right corner, out comes with it. Oh, as uh, Daumi tried to... Pick up that puck that was bouncing past his stick and almost turned into a three-on-one chance the other way. They'll fight that off and go back on the attack. Delayed slap shot by King of Apes. That one's deflected aside as well. Doesn't make it to the goalie, but that one will and get past the goalie. A beautiful pass that might have tipped off somebody there, but Villapoika puts it home and now it's four to one. And that was a very, very important goal, Nick. Uh, if it would have went the other way to Herlev, they may have been able to crawl back into this hockey game. Jubins gave him a chance, but a great job there by the left winger, Vila Poika, to put the boys back in front. What a pass out front from behind the net as well, Nick. You're just seeing A-Treads come up with goals from all over the ice. That might be the third or fourth pass we've seen from that location line where, you know, either it's... Nikki Dangles or Benito over on the left side down by that red line area and they just find a way to the middle. So does that tell you that, you know, is it just successful for them to do that or are they finding a hole in her left's defense? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think that the best thing about H-Reds is that they're able to adapt to the teams they're playing. Most teams play their game where the skill of H-Reds, they adapt and, and overtake. And that's, I think, is just what we're seeing here as we are seeing a little bit of a different style of hockey game than game one. Slightly different indeed, a lot more fast-paced and, you know, usually H-Reds is methodical. Is that Omaha pass off the back of the boards, bounces to Nicky Dangles, and he will do as his namesake says, and dangled himself into another goal. It's 5-1 for H-Reds. Yeah, we'll see what they can do. Maybe build some momentum to keep moving forward. I think they have enough of it in this 7-1 hockey game, Nick, but we know H-Reds loves to score. They definitely love to score. Final two minutes here. Most of it will be penalty time, barring a goal. That one's flipped out, though. Breakaway. Karani on the chance. Backhand chance. Score! And nevertheless, the score line. It's always fun to see a breakaway goal. That one makes it 7-2 to two on the shorthanded opportunity. But Karani was waiting for it. It was flipped up to him. And he beat FaZe on a nice little backhand there on the one-on-one -on -one chance.